2021 for Formula One is when we have the big change in regulations. We're going to have new power units, new aerodynamics, new wheels and tyres as well. And the talk is that we're going to go to an 18 inch rim, but keep the same diameter tyre. So a very low aspect ratio tyre mounted to the rim. The thinking for this is quite simple. They just want a more modern looking wheel and tyre combination to get away from the sort of 70s biased, narrow wheel, big bulbous tyre on top. Formula One has run 13 inch wheels for decades now. There was a time during the 70s and 80s when teams were looking for braking performance. So they were looking to have bigger discs. In order to do this, the constraint was the 13 inch rim. So teams were running bigger wheels to fit bigger brakes inside. The FIA wanted to hold back braking performance. So they enforced a 13 inch wheel to constrain the size of the discs inside. Although strangely, there is actually a regulation demanding the size of the disc inside as well. So for 2021, the talk is to go to an 18 inch rim. Now this is only a very simple part of the regulation. There's lots of other things that will impact and regulations that need to be thought about. First of all is the smaller tire on top of the rim will change the suspension massively in terms of the compliance effect. So teams will need to completely re-engineer the geometry of their suspension and the springs and the dampers and the devices inside that control the movement of the car relative to the tire. This is a big piece of work and with such complicated inboard suspension systems as they're running now, it's a large piece of work for the teams. So there is also talk that we can go to active suspension. Now this isn't the driver aid that it was back in the 90s. This is going to be a much more controlled, semi-specified in terms of hardware regulation that will just mean that teams don't have to work huge amounts of mechanical and hydraulic parts, which are very hard to scrutineer, and instead just have the software control the suspension with active suspension. But still, this is only a rumor, but I think it's a good direction for Formula One to take. If they increase the size of the wheel, then they also have to make sure how they then cover the size of the brake inside. Now they could allow bigger discs, which would be one direction to go, or they could continue to enforce a very small disc, which would then mean a big, area open inside the wheel, much like you see with Formula E cars, which also run an 18 inch wheel and a small disc inside. Furthermore, you've got the aerodynamic effect, and this is a big effect throughout the car, and it's particularly in terms of how you then manage the bodywork inside the wheel. Currently, the entire inside of the wheel is stuffed with carbon fiber, trying to prevent air passing through in ways that the teams can't control. With a bigger wheel, the FI have a choice. You can either allow teams to fill the wheel with bodywork, in which case you wouldn't have this gap through it, or they could continue to enforce a 13-inch size brake duct inside and still have the open area around.